Well, right now, police are still trying to piece together what exactly happened inside an Elizabethtown hospital early Saturday morning. According to police, they responded to reports of an armed suspect inside the emergency room at Baptist Health Hardin just after 5 o'clock yesterday morning. One officer fired his weapon and hit the suspect. WHS 11's Alexandra Goldberg explains from E-Town. Shots rang out at an Elizabethtown hospital. I've never encountered anything like this at this hospital. Uh, you know, this is something that we prepare for, train for daily. Hope it never happens. Here at Baptist Health Hardin, police say they responded around 5 a.m. to a report of an active shooter near the emergency room. Elizabethtown Police Public Affairs Officer Chris Denham says before police arrived, an adult male fired gunshots with a handgun. Police say then an officer shot the suspect who was not fatally wounded, but was airlifted to the University of Louisville for treatment. We're very proud of our officer for their swift actions and in response that uh, obviously thwarted a very bad situation. Both authorities and stakeholders are continuously praising hospital staff and security for their prompt response to the active shooter themselves being of course, unarmed and unassisted until Elizabethtown police could arrive on scene. So I really want to commend the efforts of the Baptist Health Hardened Security staff. They contacted an armed gunman uh, unarmed, and uh, I'm really, really proud of them for, for the job they did. WHAS 11's Clarice Shaley was at the scene in Elizabethtown right after the incident occurred. Any indication while you're in the hospital of anything like that? No, everybody seemed pretty pleasant and friendly. Ryan Williams was at the hospital for routine testing during the incident, but says he didn't know anything out of the ordinary was going on inside. He says he was shocked. It's uh, just the times we live in. It's just it's just not getting safe in this in the world. Michael Klamowski heard about the shooting from his sister, who works at Baptist Health. Talk to me, I'm like, are you okay? Is everyone okay? And she's like, we're fine. Everyone's fine here. Klamowski says it was hard for him to hear about an officer-involved shooting this close to home. Now I'm just really upset and really concerned for you know, the community. There were no other injuries reported at the shooting. In Elizabethtown, Alexander Goldberg, WHAS 11, on your side. And both Elizabethtown Police and Kentucky State Police are investigating the incident. The officer who fired on the suspect was placed on two weeks of paid administrative leave, which is the standard protocol. Indiana State Police also investigating a shooting involving their officers in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. That's just 30 minutes outside of Cincinnati. Police say they responded to the Hollywood Casino shortly before 1 a.m. on Saturday. According to initial reports, a man was threatening and chasing another person with a knife. When officers arrived, they learned a man had begun firing shots on the fourth floor of the hotel. Officers located the man and attempted to get him to drop his gun before he allegedly opened fire on officers. Police returned fire, hitting and killing the suspect. None of the officers were injured in that exchange. Carrollton police say a fourth victim has been recovered from Thursday's deadly house fire in Carrollton. Fire officials recovered the final body yesterday morning. All four bodies are being transported to the state medical examiner's office for identification. Police say two people survived the fire, a man who was not at the house at the time, and a three-year-old who was rescued by police near the back door. Officials yesterday said the child remains hospitalized but continues to improve. Now, as the rubble is carried away, the small, tight-knit community is rallying together. Again, that's the reason I say we need to pray for this community. Uh, the whole community, when one hurts, the whole community hurts. Here. The Kentucky State Police arson unit will handle the investigation into how this fire started. Officials say it's too early to speculate on the cause.